hi everyone welcome back to my channel how are you all doing in today's video i'll be sharing with you how i'm going to make my grandma recipe this recipe is so good anytime i'm not feeling well uh, maybe i have sore throat when i was young this is kind of recipe my grandma is to make and i always eat it and it makes me feel better so few days i've been feeling a bit funny and i remember grandma recipe and i decided to make it today and i would like to share with you how i'm making it so if you like to see how i make it please watch the video to the end to find out hope you enjoyed the video so guys as you guys can see i'm in a fish shop i'm gonna get some fish i'm gonna buy everything fresh 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 because i remember those days in my village my grandmother used to make this recipe everything have to be fresh nothing from frozen or dry or this fresh fresh so i'm just buying mackerel i'm gonna get crab and prawns you guys will see when i'm buying it So guys I just got home and as you guys can see I've cleaned my fish I've also cleaned my crab and my prawns behind the camera and you know you can see it's nice and clean yes I take off the shed of the prawns I took some off some of it I didn't take off and the back I've taken out there's a black line there I've also taken it out so everything is nice and clean So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to season my fish with salt. Just season it with salt. That is all you need. <laughs> that is all you need. So I'm just rubbing everything together. And after rubbing, I'm going to pop it in the oven to grill it. Like half grill, not to, you know, grill, grill, half grill. So guys, I'm doing the same thing I did to the fish. I'm just seasoning this with salt. As I said, it's all you need is salt. Don't put a uh, aroman seasoning cube. No, you know those days. All they use is salt and seasoning cube. No curry, powder, thyme, all those kind of stuff. No. So, yeah. So now, this is my pepper. I'm just taking out the dirt i'm going to wash and you know garlic ginger just going to you know blend everything together and then yeah
so this is my banger i'm going to add a bit of water and i'm going to put it on the gas to heat up and once it's heat i'm going to allow it to settle and i'm going to drain it because under it you have kind of black stuff maybe like a sand i won't say it's a sand but you have some black stuff when i'm sifting it you'll see so as as you guys can see it's come to boil and i just leave it to cool down and then i'm sifting it inside the main pot i'm going to use to make the soup can you guys see closely uh -huh. can you see that because of that i did what i did okay so now that's the onions and garlic ginger everything i blend pepper i just add to it so yeah So guys this is the black pepper and the reason why i bought this particular one this one have the strong flavor which i like so back in those days when i was young the one my grandmother used to make i mean buy it have this strong smell and this one have the strong smell like the smell flavor that's why i didn't buy the powdered one so i like this one better it bring out the best flavor ever so I'm just staring it. You guys look at that. Look so beautiful. Ah, look at that. The aromant lasso. You guys need to try this recipe. I tell you guys. If especially when you have sore throats, make it spicy to your level. <laughs> especially when you have sore throat and you eat this food. Or maybe you are feeling like, oh, I don't want to eat anything. I don't feel hungry. And you eat this. Trust me, you'll be better. So I just taste it for salt and then everything is perfect, perfectly, perfectly. So I'm just adding a bit more of black pepper and yes, and I'm, I'll be adding water later. So when your soup is cooking and if you feel like it's getting thick, you just add more water because this soup, we cannot afford it to get thick at all. Thick is not the portion. <laughs> <laughs> we forbid the thickness so i'm going to allow it to cook but later on i'm going to add water because it is as it's getting cooking it, the water start drying up i mean the soup start drying up start thickening. so i add more water so yeah 